Hi there, towing enthusiasts. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at SEPA's Universal Towing Mirror Replacement Straps. These are gonna work with any of SEPA's clip-on towing mirrors, as well as with the dual-view towing mirrors. You'll receive two straps with your replacement kit, as well as the buckles for adjusting the tightness. Now it's great that SEPA uses rubber straps in their mirrors because it doesn't cause any scratches or abrasions to your mirror and it gives it a nice gripping surface to grab onto your mirror so your mirrors don't fall off. However, rubber does degrade over time and it does start to dry out. So over the years, especially if you use it all year round, whether winter, summer, that hot and cold and the sun beating down on it does take its toll and eventually these straps will fail. That's pretty much with all rubber though. What's nice is that our replacement straps are gonna come exactly like our factory straps, and I can already feel a pretty big difference in this strap versus this strap. This one feels, you know, it feels worn out. It doesn't have the same softness that the new strap does here. I mean, this feels very soft. You can push on it. This is kind of hard, and it, it almost feels like if I gave it a nice tug, I could probably break this one. We've been using this one here for quite some time. We did already break another one here, so let's go ahead and get these straps installed so we can get our mirror back up and running again. Now the strap that was damaged has been lost and since is missing, so we have neither the buckle nor the strap or anything. Before we put that one in though, we're going to take this one out. We might as well replace both of them because, uh, well, you don't want one of your straps failing if you replaced a good one and then you have this one fail, your mirror still could potentially fall off. So before taking your old straps off, you'll want to remove the buckle. And this is pretty simple. You just take out one side first. So we're just pushing it up. Once you get a little bit started, you can pull it out and then you can slide the buckle off. Once you've slid the buckle off, the strap just slides out. You'll just want to take note here of the position though. As you can see, we've got the grooved edges on one side and smooth on the other. So the smooth side is facing towards the inside of our mirror between our arms. So just make that note. We'll slide our old strap out, set that aside, take our new straps and slide those in. We can then place the new buckles onto our straps. And with these buckles, you also wanna keep in mind how the mirror is going to function. So it's gonna clip on your mirror like this. This is gonna come around and it's gonna hook here on top. So our buckle is gonna be kind of like this and it's going to clip on. With that being said, that means we need to take our buckle here, we'll slide it through and then slide it back down. This will give us our adjustment as well as give us the correct orientation to come up here and clip on. We're gonna do the same with our other strap. Now that we've got them all the way installed, let's test it out and make sure everything's working as it should. We'll hook our clips of our mirror on to our factory mirror. And then we're gonna bring our straps around the back side and hook them in place. I'll have to loosen the tension on this one just a little bit. And we're back up and running again. As you can see, this mirror's not coming off of there. It's nice and tight. And if you have a second mirror for your other side, while you're out here fixing this one, it's not a bad idea to update that one as well. So don't replace your mirror, because you can replace the straps at a fraction of the cost to get you back on the road.